Hi guys, this is Esti. I'm gonna make a Budapest baking, uh, what do you call it in Swedish? It's called Belkesen. So if you have a lot of egg white and you do not know what to do with the egg white, right? So it's kind of a pity to throw them away. So what can you do? So today I'm gonna show you this recipe that I've never made before, I'm gonna just try and see if it works out. Because we have so much egg white after the baking uh, at my job. And today I'm just trying this recipe. Because last year in our summer cafe, we bought a lot of Budapest. It is actually a meringue squish roll, which is wrapped in this cream and oranges and some fresh fruits. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. Uh, I've been doing a little bit of research and I try to find you know the best healthiest recipe for you So hopefully this is something that you might consider uh, Baking Budapest is a very uh, top selling Baking uh, pastry for us in our cafe So I want to do it myself so that we could uh, help the company to make more money so that I can bake more and Provide our customers for more home bake so let's jump on to making this wonderful pastry, right? So what do you need? You need egg white. Uh, this is about 125 grams of egg white. In fact, it's more. So if you have a lot of egg white and you don't want to throw them away, so this is pretty good. You don't really need a lot. I think it's about four big egg. So throw away the egg yolk or use the egg yolk and then keep this egg white. Hi, and then I have about uh, 90 grams of sugar and a, another portion which I'm going to add. Hello, Nelina. Is it is it Nelina? Uh, white sugar, corn flour, and also hazelnuts. So hazelnuts you can actually buy them uh, ready made, but I don't. I couldn't find them at my local sh supermarket, so I use a fresh hazelnut and just grind them roughly. I don't want to grind them too fine because you want to feel the nuts also in the meringue. So you can grind it uh, more fine if you want. If you can't find this, I have a link in my video description where you can uh, include. You can find this at Amazon. So some of the items that I find is difficult to find, I will try to include them in my video description so that you guys can bring the items home without the hassles. So let's jump on into making this amazing pastry. So first of all, I like to mix all the dry ingredients. So get hold of a small mixing bowl. So this is about hundred and one and a half deciliter of hazelnuts. And then you want to put in um, the recipe is in the video description so I will just tell you uh, actually I have measured everything beforehand so it's not a it's not that difficult if you look at the recipe you'll be amazed how easy it is this is just some corn flour so as you can see this is also a gluten-free uh, variation so for people who are uh, sensitive to gluten this is a perfect recipe and then you want to mix in 90 grams of flour uh, sugar and then just mix them well so if you think that the nuts is too rough yeah actually what you can do is that let me just show you one trick okay mixer If you want the hazelnut flour to be more, uh, how do you say, to be more fine, as you can see, you see some parts you see, some of the haze, the nuts is still quite big, right? So you want this to be even more fine. So usually what I do is that I pour this into a mixer and grind it again. So I usually like to take just the top part because that is where you want to have them more fine 
but this is pretty con yeah, inconvenient right so it's better to buy the ready-made one so you don't have this problem So we sell um, this pastry uh, for approximately $4 per piece. So it's the number one selling pastry at our cafe uh, during the summer. So I hope you guys can learn how to do this. If you can, send me a picture, uh, connect with me at uh, Facebook because at YouTube, you can't post your picture here. So you can uh, connect with me at Facebook and we can share our, our photograph there. All right. So I just put this into a small mixer and I'm going to just grind this with a normal. This is the one that I used to make smoothie. So just put this on and I'm going to grind this with this tiny machine. This is not a grinder. Actually, I would love to have a grinder. <laughs> Let's see if I get this 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 birthday in September. Hopefully, LG see this so he can get me a grinder. <laughs> okay, now just. grinder you know it's not uh, uh, the most the best one so sometimes you need to shake it a little bit so that you get this more fun. okay that's it so let's see okay as you can see it's quite fine already so I think this is okay I'm just going to remove this and pour this out pour this out and see how fine is this it's better than before yeah before there were a lot of uh, bigger chunk of nuts so if you put the nuts the hazelnut inside the mixer to mix it don't try to do that okay it will not work because uh, because the nuts has a lot of fat in it so when you grind them it become like a paste at the end so the safest way to do this is to add the corn flour and the sugar so you get this kind of really really fine fine consistency all right very fine uh, sometimes you still can see like you know but you know i can't help it so this is what we need and then we need to beat the egg yolk uh, egg white so let's go to the machine and see how i do this okay i have about i'm gonna mix the egg white first so i'm using this uh, big bubble we call it the balloon <laughs> so again if you are looking at, oh my goodness it's so loud you see when i'm using the machine <laughs> i was telling lg just now i said you know when i uh, use my company's machine you know it's a heavy duty one so when i come back to this machine it feels like i'm playing a toy <laughs> it's so suddenly it's so small and then you know it's kind of different it's not that heavy duty so let's start whipping it uh i don't want to add the sugar first i want to make sure that you know you get this really good bubble then you slowly add in the sugar this is very very important don't put it sugar in first okay so let's start so while this is this is beating i'm going to try and beat the egg A 
lot of things to beat the lane. So, now, I'm going to beat the egg the cream. sugar Yeah, it is okay with the hand blender too. So while that is mixing, This is really good because it doesn't splatter all over the place. So I'm going to just put this on. By the way, thank you for joining us. It's so good to see you guys here. That the meringue is ready right so let me just show you how 
this this machine is very very cheap you know you can get at amazon like 24 dollars uh all right but then i feel like you know it's a bit clumsy sometimes you know you hear just now i made a very strange crack you know it can be a bit scary but you know what to expect a 24 dollars machine right so if you are a family and then you you want to bake but then you like to save money this is a machine you can get right but the quality i would say compared to the one at my job is like not as good as you can see you see as long as the uh meringue is holding the balls like you know on top it doesn't drip okay then you know it's ready so i'm going to remove this you see it's still stuck there <laughs> means that it's quite stiff okay and then you see here you hear it has this sound <laughs> okay so the meringue like this it shouldn't fall off so you want to have a very um, a spatula just like this and then you want to slightly fold in the flour, the hazelnut flour. So usually I like to just a bit first, not too much at one to go. Okay, and then you want to fold this in in one direction. Just lightly fold them. It's so good to have you guys. Uh, I noticed I, my channel I, has been growing so quickly this two weeks and I don't know why. I suddenly have a lot of uh, subscribers from India uh, and also in Europe which is really rare because my subscribers usually are from Asia. So I'm but I'm really glad you know we have more people in the community now which makes me really happy. Okay, I'm gonna pour the remaining flour in here. Okay, tomorrow is Friday, so this is a perfect uh, baking idea <laughs> if you are thinking of what to bake. So tonight, uh, we will be having a Vietnamese um, taco. <laughs> it's strange, right? So, so, taco is Mexican. You can't say it's a... I was talking to my boyfriend just now. I said, you know, we are, not, we are going to make a Vietnamese... Oh, really? You mean a, a Vietnamese are Mexican? I said, no. He's just joking with me, but you know, sometimes in a very sarcastic way. So now, look. It's really, really puffy and light, right? So this is the consistency you want to get according to the recipe. I hope I'm not. I, I hope I'm not wrong. And then you want to have this really quite a big piping bag. So this is plastic. You you use it, you throw it away. Don't use it again, all right? Uh, some people they will wash it, you know. A person who wash it and use it again, she just turned over the other side, <laughs> and I was thinking, this is not reusable. <laughs> okay, usually I like to put them in a like a, like a corn cup, and then I just throw them out. It's easier than you hold it. You know, you hold it and then you try to pour. It. It's, uh, it's more difficult that way. So usually I like to just put everything down. Yeah. And then just let it sit like to the words. The end here. Alright. And then it's much easier. You have more control, right? You don't have to hold the bag, try to put it in. It's like so difficult. So this way it's much easier. So you want to pour them into this bag. This 
is a, a very good recipe if you are in, uh, from Singapore or maybe you are baking something that only use egg yolk and then you have plenty of egg white. I remember when I was a kid, my mom always make a lot of this uh, Asian cake that use only the egg yolk. So she always wonder, you know, what should I do with the egg white? So, you know, in Asia, we are not used to eating meringue, right? In the Europe then, or maybe in Sweden, it's more popular with the meringue. So in France, it's, meringue is very popular. But not among the Asian. The Asian, they, they find the meringue is a bit too sweet. But again, you know, there's no need for you to put a lot of sugar. You still can put, reduce the amount of sugar. So let's see here. I'm just going to lift up the back. Oh, it got onto my apron. bubble trap inside but don't worry because we need that air bubble I'm going to get a clip usually I get this type of clip from Ikea this is really good so I just I use a smaller one and I just clip them so I don't have to like hold them so this way you have more control over Right, so the air bubble is gone. So now we want to put this on a tray. Let me see. This is a tray. I don't know if it's a good idea to oil it, but I think I'd like to try to oil it a little bit. Just in case. Yeah. The best the best way is to use a you know the silicone paper sheet. That one I think is better because I don't have that, so I'm going to use this. But I don't want I don't want this to be like stick onto my my uh, what do you call it my paper. So I'm just going to just oil this a little bit. If you have a silicone sheet at home, use that instead. I think that is better. I want to pour more. So now let's do the fun part. Oh, that's a fun part. So you want to cut this quite big because you want to have this really big chunk. So usually I like to cut, don't cut them slanted, cut them straight. So you get this really nice, like a tiny little lock. So just about this size should do. Okay, and then you, I will try to go like this. Evenly. And then second layer. Third layer. Fourth layer. Finishing the last one, I think. Yep, that's the last one. So if you feel that there is a gap somewhere, try to close the gap. Of course. 
Okay, now you bake this in the oven for 170 degrees for 20 minutes. So meantime, uh, I'm going to show you how to do this, but let's put this in the oven. Uh, during the baking, I want to open the oven a little bit because you know the meringue, uh, if you close it too tight uh, for too long, uh, for in, a, in an oven, the moisture will not make the meringue crispy. So you want to have a very crispy uh, topping and soft inside. So half time, you open up the oven a little bit to let the air go in. Then the air inside is not so moist, right? So let's go to the oven. I'm going to go to put it in the oven. to 20 minutes okay and then meantime let me show you what we need for the fillings so this is the uh, oranges that you can buy in the can let me show you the can how it looks like Mandarin in in Sweden is uh, called mandarin, mandarin crystal. It means uh, mandarin that has been peeled. The skin is not there. Let me give you an example how it looks like. Let's see if I can focus. You can see it. So it's already been peeled. It's amazing. I don't know how they do it probably a very advanced machine to do them so usually you buy them they are quite a lot of water in it to preserve it so i don't want to have so much water and usually i like to do like this i take this uh, <laughs> a seal and then i pour them onto the seal and let the water drip okay still not dry enough so i always use a towel i spread this out first and then take the kitchen towel throw away the juice then use a kitchen towel and just pat them So it's not dry. Yeah. So next step, you want to just don't have to chop them finely. Just enough. If you have the scissors, use the scissors because you don't want to waste time. So just cut them. Like for a mandarin, you cut them into, into three. So that they are a smaller chunk the reason why you want to do this is because you don't want the uh, uh, too much water as you find it's a lot of water so if there's more water just put them put the towel inside to absorb it the reason why you want to do this is because you know the cream is um, wet and if this is wet this is the the this will you know make the destroy the cream so you want it to be a slightly drier so that the cream will stay longer but otherwise it become like very sloggy so that you don't want yeah the one that we bought at our the wholesaler who sell us this uh, they are not cheap you know uh, we buy them in pair usually uh, the Swiss roll come in pair in one big box if I'm not wrong it was like sixteen dollars um and then we have to make a profit we have to sell it you know double the price so 
at the end it becomes even more expensive when the cafe people come and buy they you know i, I pity them <laughs> because it's so expensive actually the ingredients you see you know it's actually quite cheap it's just that you know you need to have some time and if you are doing this for a party you can get your friends over to come and help you so it's much easier and i can guarantee you, you like this So guys, if you are um, watching me on replay, even though you are on live, you know, feel free. If you have any question, there is no such thing as a stupid question. Yeah? That's how you learn. When you ask question, you know, that is how you will benefit from this kind of live cooking show. Then I can answer you right away. If you have any question, even if you are watching replay after the live streaming, you are still so welcome to send me question too because I find that uh, it's really fun to uh, connect with you guys. Uh, and I've been receiving quite a lot of comments lately about the garlic water. I told you about the garlic water. And uh, a lot of people been, you know, some of them, they are a little bit pissed off <laughs> because... I was too slow um, and I think I tried to put this uh, recipes together in a very calm hopefully it's a calm relaxing atmosphere so you don't have to feel like oh it's so stressful to cook right cooking supposed to be fun and relaxing so you wonder what is this this is actually raspberry from my garden. I picked them yesterday and it's a bit frozen, but it is okay. Usually I like to just uh, loosen it a little bit. Because as you can see, if you buy frozen raspberry, you always find that there are some water like ice, but it is okay. Just lift them and remove the water. You don't want the water. So, this is what we do in Sweden. We, we preserve all our berries in the... We don't eat them right away in Sweden. Uh, we pick them because we don't have time to eat them. It's true, right? <laughs> it's true. Because we have so many berries to eat, you know. We don't even have um, time to eat them. We, we usually plant them and then we pick them some of some of the raspberry we eat them and in our this is actually belongs to our garden airbnb garden so our guests when they come and live with us we say hey what should good you know go and pick this wonderful berries it's for free you don't have to pay nothing oh some of them they really appreciate that you know i think this is fun to us we would love our guests to, you know, enjoy this, you know, mini foraging uh, ideas that they can pick our berries in, in our garden. So if you can find fresh berry, of course, it's better. If you don't, you can actually use frozen berries. So just make sure that there's not so much water. I don't like the water so much. Maybe, you know what, I'll do a seal. <coughs> I'll try and do the same too. Because <clears throat> if you buy fresh strawberries, this will not happen. But the frozen one usually is like that. Okay? So if you can, not necessary raspberry. You can use mango. You can use uh, assorted food, in even rambutan, uh, even durian. You know, try going do durian. I think it would be nice. And, you know, the fruit that you like, not necessary has to be mandarin, not necessary, but the classic recipe called for raspberry and mandarin. So, 
but to me it doesn't matter your favorite food you are in charge you are the boss yeah so just press a little bit so the small water coming out okay then this is done if you, of course you want to drink the water it's fine too uh, there's no sugar in it so it's really healthy I'm going to make a uh, juice um, next no next weekend we are going to Croatia I probably when I come back I'm going to make juice because in Sweden you know we freeze all our berries and during the springtime that's where we will uh, produce all our like jam uh, juice juice from uh, red currant black currant raspberry uh, aronia berries blueberries all the berries strawberries so we always make during the springtime because that is where we need them the most and then during the summer we put them in the refrigerator or somewhere cold or maybe dig a hole in the garden and put a box underneath the hole because the ground is quite cold it's quite chilling so you can make your own refrigerator just put the bottles inside cover them make sure nobody come and take it so you can you know use it as your extra refrigerator so this is how what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell LG to dig up some hole so that I can have uh, some more storage place. Because we are going to be bringing our gas from the B&B to, to the forest to pick some wild food. So let's go to the oven there. Open a little bit, okay? Let the air come out. Okay. Let the air come up. Yes, I'm going to get you guys to see how it looks like. Alright, so it should be a little bit brown and then now I'm taking it like half time. So you want to open this a bit, let the air come out. Then when the air is out, you close it. watch we still have about nine minutes more so if you feel like it you know later a while more you open up and then just pull out the the thing make sure you can withstand the heat uh, just touch on the surface and see if it's uh, crispy or not on the, on the surface so now let's do this um, okay uh, remember the fresh cream, right? The one that we have beat. I show you the cream. So you can actually flavor the the fresh cream if you like. Usually, I like to put some vanilla powder. So I'm going to use vanilla powder in here. Or maybe I can try vanilla extract. Okay, I'm going to use vanilla extract instead of the powder. In Sweden, we use a lot of powder. Uh, it's very, very difficult to get extract, especially good quality one. So this one, I bought them when I was in Singapore. And let me just find this one. Oh, this is for my this is for my meringue. Let me just use a new one. And where is it? Okay, I'm using a rice. <laughs> the one I the one I scoop my rice so just a little bit tiny little bit of vanilla will make a lot of difference so if you think you want a bit sweet a little bit sweet you can add a bit of sugar flour smells so good i think i'm going to add just a tiny little bit more 
So keep the cream into the refrigerator for one day. Okay, so cover this. And this thing is quite good, I find, because uh, it comes with the cover like this. So when you whip uh, the whipped cream, it will not splatter all over the place like you're having a tornado, right? So it's really good. Uh, and then it comes with a cover where you can just put them covered in and keep that in the refrigerator. I'm going to put this in the refrigerator. So, meantime, let me just share with you guys a very simple trick. Uh, in Sweden, we don't drink so much water because the reason why it's, it's cold here uh, even during the summer it's like 20-25 degrees and then sometimes if we are lucky we can get up to 30-32 degrees 32 degrees I think is the hottest for us so when you are not feeling hot you don't drink so much water all right so if you guys are not drinking enough water this is really bad and i noticed i haven't been drinking enough water i feel like my stomach is really like hard it's so difficult to go to the toilet so i found a way where it can remind me to drink water and we need about 1.5 1.2 to 1.5 liters of water every day in our body system if we don't have enough water we are going to be dehydrated and we are going to have a lot of problem with our organs later. This is according to research. It's not my own research. So let me show you one good tips. Yeah. This guys, this is a good tips. Let me come to the. F All right. This is where we have breakfast. Me and LG, we sit here and in front we have this. Uh, we call that the water chamber. <laughs> and then we, just me and LG is just both of us. So we need about three liters of water. So this tank can fill up to three liters. So we make sure that every day we drink everything at the end. Because yesterday was not to the end, just a little bit, but it's still good. You know, every time we pass by this room in our kitchen, we will remember to drink the water. And I tell you, it's so fantastic because it just makes me feel like, you know, oh, okay, this is a really good reminder. And if you just don't want to drink water, you can actually make this into flavors. All right, how, right? And for my case, I want to lose weight. So you know what I did today? I went to the supermarket and I bought this lemon. And I bought some apple. So later, I'm going to cut some apples also. And I'm just going to put the water, this, all this lemon and all those fruits inside this. Just to flavor this without any sweetener. How lovely is that, right? So, try and do this. If you can't find a container like this, this is a very, very cheap container that I bought. Uh, I just found at the supermarket. And uh, it's... It's just I five dollars US dollars. It's just five dollars, and it's really good investment. I find for your own health. All right, let's take a look at the meringue again. Open this for the last time, just to release the air. Okay, now I'm going to just gonna do the brave part. All right, I'm gonna use uh my hand. Oh. I like that to use my hand. Huh? Let me try, right? Use my hand to just touch and see if it's hardened or not. Just top. Huh? I think it's okay. So, in you go. Another one minute, 40, 40 seconds. So, when this is done, we're going to let them cool down. And I'm going to show you a few tricks how to do that. Okay, look at my... <laughs> this is 
this is what happened when we do live streaming yeah we want to make sure but if i don't do live streaming i don't think so i'm in this mess but uh it is always like this lucky i have a washing machine all right uh i tell you i can live without a man i can live without a food for one day but i cannot live without a dishwasher <laughs> it's true all right it's true because i'm damn lazy i don't want to wash dishes so this is what i i really enjoy doing I just you know relax find more time so that i can enjoy my life better here is what i want to show you this is a uh, natal's roots that i have uh, picked me and genevieve we were slaving in the forest the other day but it was really really fun you get the fresh air and this is really good for men who are over 60 and women who are over 40. the reason why is because we are not our all our organs is not in order after 40 50 right we need to oh now we need to protect our body and uh, this is one most powerful root let me just take the thing out it's calling me beep 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 okay i can hear you don't worry you see it off by itself my goodness i can hear you and you come to me Let's take a look. Okay. See? It's a slightly brown on top. This is exactly what you want. Uh, you have to let this cool down a while. Alright? So I'm going to flip this. I'm going to just let it cool down for just one minute. And I'm going to flip it. And I'm going to show you how I do it. Let me just flip the camera. Here first, and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to, how I'm going to decorate the the meringue. All right? Uh, I need a chocolate. These are actually frozen chocolate. So I have put them in the piping bag. The last time when I use it. I didn't finish using it, so I still have them. You can actually put them in the refrigerator and just use them again. Don't have to throw everything. I think it's really good. So you can reuse it. Just put them in a microwave, let it melt, and then you just decorate on your cake. Like in this case, I'm going to decorate the meringue. So you need some chocolate. If you don't have them in a piping bag, it is okay. Just put the chocolate into a ceramic bowl. And then put them in the microwave of just for 30 seconds. And after 30 seconds, you take it out, use a spoon and stir it and put it again for another 30 seconds. But you have to watch because chocolate, they burn very fast in the microwave. Yeah, once you burn, you can't use it. So you cannot on like one minute and then you go to the toilet. No, don't do that. Put 30 seconds and then you know keep stirring it until you get this right consistency then you just sprinkle on the meringue so i'm going to turn the meringue and uh, i need i need this uh, paper i hope i have enough space Let's see. One of this, like a use any kind of cardboard. So just bear with me for a while. Let me just bend this a bit. 
so you can see what am I doing so usually I don't do this but uh, I need a uh, on the lid and then another paper on top and then this one oh you have to make sure that the meringue is not sticking to the to the side so I saw that the meringue is sticking to the side a little bit so I'm going to just cut and release it alright make sure that it's not sticking okay then put the paper on top and then turn the meringue over I need another cloth so be careful yeah this cool down further. I'll tell you why you need this thing. Alright? Uh, because you want to push the meringue. Okay, I'm going to just let this sit and cool down a little bit more. Just fan it a little bit. Because if it's wet, you put the cream, it will melt. So just let this cool down. If you have a fan, use a fan. <laughs> or otherwise, in our case, the winter is so cold outside, right? So I just usually bring it out and put them in the balcony and that's it okay i think it's very cooler and then i want to remove this and put that on the table come Is it hot still? Mm, not so hot anymore. So just fan this. Make sure that it's not hot anymore. And if you are doing this at home, uh, don't do like me. Yeah, fan, fan. You're going to get tired. So if you have a space in the refrigerator, put it there if you don't have time. But if you have time, just leave it outside and let this cool down. Now I'm fanning it because I want to hurry up so that I can do some other work later on. Because I have a few recipes that I'm going to write uh, for my cafe. And I want to make sure that I can finish five recipes today. Okay, now this is almost almost there, but you want to make sure this is right fully. So what I do is I move this a little bit. It's really uh, quite soft. So now let's go and take the cream. But before I take the cream out. Yeah, maybe we'll do this. Uh, I still want to fan this a bit more because I don't want the cream to melt.
No, I think this is okay. So I'm gonna remove this container. Let's see if I can find a spatula. When you find something, you can't find it. And when you don't need that thing, that thing keep appearing in front of your face. <laughs> How many of you have this? How many of you have this experience? Let me know okay, in the comment. Uh, I thought I'm crazy, but I think I think it's a quite a common. Oh, I don't have a spatula, but let me never mind. I'm gonna use this. Oh, I have one here. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so put the cream on top. This is why I like about a spatula. You see, it's clean. <laughs> okay, then just spread them out on the whole cake. You want to touch the side too. <laughs> okay. Now put the uh, fruit. Be generous, all right. Put the fruit. I like to have a lot of these oranges. I just love oranges. And then the raspberry. Oh, there's a lot of juice on the raspberry. That's not so good. I was telling um, LG yesterday, I said I better stop eating all these kind of things because I really want to lose weight. And I said, you know, I'm, I'm going to make... But I'm just going to try a little bit and you're going to eat the rest. So he said, really? I get to do that? I said, yeah, of course. But I'm not going to try. I'm not going to eat so much of this because I, I just feel like, yeah, this is gluten free. I, I'm a little bit sensitive to gluten. This is good. But I think that the only thing that I don't quite like it is the sugar, amount of sugar. So if you don't like sugar, reduce the sugar yeah now i'm showing you the classic recipes so if i want to make this myself i would definitely reduce the sugar so i want to roll this from my to, this to, to my direction okay i'm just going to roll this firmly and just going to roll like a twist roll huh? 
I'm just going to push this one a bit more to this to that. Ah, we we'll see. I think she did. So you want to roll this? Let me just maybe show you on this angle. I think it's better. This so you can see what I mean. Let me just move all my barang barang. Okay. Top. So just make sure you roll this gently. Oh, I put too much of a... Uh, and then I like to go in here, push it out a little bit more and use it like this one. Put like this. Okay. And then you wonder what that thing is for, right? This one. This thing. <laughs> I've used a cardboard. And then just, just push it in like you're tucking it in. Yeah. Like that. So you get this really, really nice curve okay and then you want to put them in the refrigerator or you can decorate it right away for my case i think i'm going to decorate this not right away so i'm going to just roll it out a little bit see a nice budapest but this is not the end yet because i want to decorate them so I'm going to put my chocolate in the microwave and then I'm just going to put the chocolate on top and with some flour sugar. So what you can do is you, you just drizzle the chocolate on top like this you know, randomly, very, very randomly. And then you put them in, uh, uh, you can actually wrap this. What I, I usually, if I want to do this uh, before you serve them, you wrap this like this. And then you put them in a tray because this is soft, right? Put them in a tray and then put them in the freezer and then put, keep it in the freezer. For until you want to use them so when the guests come you just drizzle this with chocolate and then put some flour sugar that's it okay guys I'm gonna do this and then uh, you can hang out and see but otherwise this is it uh, you slice them into quite thick slices you don't want to cut them too thin because if you cut them too thin uh, it will fall apart so let me just check my chocolate Okay, my chocolate is nice. So, so chocolate is melted. So I'm just going to just drizzle this. Yes. I have a friend who is at my, the motorcycle club uh, he liked this very much <laughs> he he eat this like once a week at the cafe uh, it's kind of expensive to eat them at the cafe but you know why it's expensive is because of the work oh there's a hole on top hmm.
Okay, so this is it. I hope you guys have uh, learned something from me. In fact, I'm also learning myself. It's quite fun to do this. So, again, chocolate can be reused. There you go, my Budapest. Cut them. Uh, but tonight we're gonna try this because this is something that I like to try. Uh, usually, when I don't work, when I don't go to my job, I'm testing recipes for this summer. Uh, so this whole week until next week I will be trying out a few recipes that we are going to be selling at our summer cafe so this is one thing that I would definitely want to try and sell this year and we'll see what happened all right so guys if you like this please give a thumbs up on this video and I would really love to hear from you if you have any questions Okay, so see you and don't forget to subscribe, 